We're working our way towards the last days of Yontif. I hope everybody had a nice Cholomoed, and of course the first days with the Sadarim, it felt almost back to normal. We're getting there, being in Shul, and having learning between Mincha and Marev. So as we turn our attention now to Shvishal Pesach, tomorrow, Shabbos, and the last day of Pesach, Achron Shal Pesach, we have Kriyas Yamsuf, which was the pinnacle event, the splitting of the Red Sea. And also, the last day of Pesach is accentuated by Yizkar. And there's a story that I love to say over. It stays with me, and I think of it every year. That's very appropriate for the last day of Pesach. It's about the shtetl in Lithuania, Eshashak, Yafa Eliach's shtetl. And she writes that in the 30s, the children of that generation, the young adults, they were finding their way out of the shtetl. They felt that the future of the Jewish people was not in the Altaheim, back at home, but they were going to find their way to America or to Palestine, which would become Eretz Yisrael. They were more romantic whether it came to a better life with material means or just even spiritually the shtetl had played itself out. That was their opinion. The parents thought that the children were pursuing a folly. So when it came to the night of the Seder, the parents were so disappointed not having their children around the table, they would take photographs of their children and place them at the seat in front of the place setting and take a photograph of that as if to say that somehow we can memorialize this moment, we're all together, not necessarily in person, but in spirit. And the sad irony, and this is what Yafa Eliach pointed out, is that within a decade, the tables would be turned. And those who found their way to America or to Palestine, Eretz Yisrael, they were the ones who were putting the photographs of their parents at the table before the Seder because their parents did not survive the war. And it's very poignant. Perhaps the moral is, the lesson is, as we say, a mensch tracht und Gott lacht, that people have plans, they think that this is going to be the security, this is the plan for the future, others scoff, and nobody really knows. But perhaps the deeper message is that when it comes to Pesach, we do long for the family. Whether they're in this world, whether they have passed on, we want everybody around the table. I always say that when it comes to the Seder, I still hear in my mind, in my head, I hear my grandfather's Lithuanian intonation of the Haggadah. And I try my best at certain places in the Seder, in the Haggadah, to mimic that because it's part of me, it's with me. So even though he's been gone since 1983, but when it comes to the Seder night, he's right there with me leading the Seder. There's something transcendent about Pesach that all of the neshamos, everyone joins together. And perhaps it really fits into the theme of Pesach, and we've said this in the past, that the mandate of seeing ourselves as if we left Egypt means that we have to see how we fit in to the grand picture, the destiny of the Jewish people, that everyone is here for a reason, and that sounds like a cliche, but when it comes to Kla Yisrael, we all have a mission, we all have what to contribute. And somehow that really is manifested at the Seder. And we take that into the last days of Pesach and even beyond, that there should be the rejuvenation, that commitment that I want to be able to leave my mark, not in a boastful or in a self-serving way, but I want to justify my place in the world, my place in this generation. In every generation I have to see myself, what is it that I'm contributing, what am I adding to Kla Yisrael? And that really perhaps was a, realized that Yamsuf, when they beheld a Kodesh Baruch Hu, when they sang the Shira, there was this awareness that we're all together. The Gemara says even the babies that were in the womb, not yet born, they were singing Shira because it was transcendent. There was no limit to the joining of Kla Yisrael together, realizing their connection to Hashem. It's really been a nice yontif. We hope that the final, the last days will also be very enjoyable and uplifting. 
And I just want to reiterate, we are trying our best to get back in a safe and normal way to shul. And we realize it's steps, sometimes baby steps, sometimes a little bit larger, but slowly but surely we're making it there. We have one group for boys tomorrow and Sunday. We're going to bring back the other groups very carefully, but it's going to get done, Blin Eder. And we look forward that all of Klai Yisrael can join together in Shul and beyond L'Shana Haba Have a wonderful Shabbos and Yantif. Be well.